Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and I'm back with another video in my regular expressions series. So, uh, today we're going to talk about a few special characters, uh, namely the dot, the asterisk, or star, the dollar sign, and the caret. So, let's go ahead and import our E. And the dot is basically uh, used for any character. And it really, uh, I believe there's really any character that it can represent. Um, and so let's show an example of text equals hello world. Yeah. And let's go ahead and show what happens if we do re.search. And we want to search for dot, dot, dot in the text. That's going to give us the first three characters in the text because the three dots match any character into the first three characters are H-E-L. So that's pretty cool. Um, now if we wanted to search, you know, grab the first five characters, we could do the same thing. Let's go ahead and copy, and let's do five of those. And sure enough, we should get back, hello. Yes, we do. So that's pretty cool. Not super useful in and of itself, but um, useful in uh, a sense. So we'll show you how that is useful. So let's, um, let's say we're trying to find someone whose name is Bob, but you're not sure if it's actually spelled B-O-B -B or B-A-B, because, you know, sometimes Bob goes by B-A-B. -B. So let's say uh, text equals hello, Bob. <laughs> and we'll do aria.search. Uh, let's say we want to find Bob first. That's not going to find anything. Um, yep, sure enough, we got nothing. Um, you know, let's say we want to search for Bab. That'll find Bab, but if we think we want to just search for anything that has a B, um, two Bs with a character in the middle, we can do B dot B, and that's where the dot can really start to be pretty cool. Um, so this is going to return Bab. Let's say it was Bib. It's going to do the same thing. It'll give us Bib. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we can go back and say, well, let's get hello, but I don't remember if I spelled it hello or hollow. We just do h dot lolo. That's going to give us hello. And again, if we change this to hollow, it's going to give us hello. Now, let's say we wanted to get everything that started with the hello and after it. So let's say it equals, uh, well, hello, it's is great to see you today and we want to do re.search hello star oops hold on i haven't talked to you about the star yet let's teach you about the star so um star is pretty cool star means uh any number of the previous characters repeated so uh, oftentimes the pattern you'll see is dot star. So that means that dot is any character or any space or whatever. And then star means as many as you want to see after it. Um, so what this is going to do is this is going to basically return everything starting with hello and on. Because I said I want hello and then I want uh, any character and I want that repeated as many times as you can find. So that's what it's giving us here. Um, now let's say this is where it can get really interesting. Let's say I wanted hello through the word C. And I can say hello C. I could try to figure out how many dots is in between, or I could just do hello dot star. And so now it's gonna look for hello, it's gonna look for the word C, and then any characters that are in between is fine. And so this is gonna give us the hello, it is great to C. So that now we're starting to see where pattern matching, even with just these two special characters, can start to get really powerful because you can have um, any number of kind of variable characters in between. So let's look at these other two characters, the dollar sign and the caret. Uh, those, are, those represent the end and the beginning of the line. So um, let's say we're back and you want to basically say, I want to grab um, hello, but only if it is the very beginning of the line. So what you'll do is caret hello. And this is not going to give us anything back because that's actually not the beginning of the line. Now instead, let's get rid of the well. And now it's going to give us the word hello because it does indeed uh, come at the beginning of the line. And now uh, similarly, you can do today uh, dollar sign. That's not going to work because there is uh, an extra exclamation mark after today. 
So instead, I'm going to change it up here. Let's say I want to do today dot. So that if you recall, that means any character. So today dot through the end is going to give us this. And so sure enough, we were able to get today exclamation mark. So I'm going to stop this one here today, but you've learned the basics of four special characters. There's a lot more to learn about even just these. Um, the dot, the star, the dollar sign, and the carrot. If you like the video, please click like. If you want to keep watching, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave those in the comments and I uh, hope to see you at the next one. Thanks.